So lately, Nintendo Switch emulation on the PC has been a hot topic for a lot of people, and I'm not quite sure why that is. I don't know if maybe there's a big exclusive Nintendo Switch game that's coming out that people have been waiting for for years that comes out pretty soon but is actually leaked online early and people are already playing it now. I wouldn't know any of that stuff because, well, I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber, but I am an emulation YouTuber. I cover all sorts of emulation stuff on this channel with some Nintendo and PlayStation and Xbox stuff from time to time. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But I feel like it's my due diligence to talk about Nintendo Switch emulation on the PC and show you guys how to set up one of the most popular Nintendo Switch emulators thus far. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of everything, I do want to get some legal mumbo jumbo out of the way. I am in no way, shape or form advocating for piracy for the Nintendo Switch system. Emulation itself and an emulator itself is not illegal. What you do with that emulator could end up being illegal, however. This is just for educational purposes. In order to show you guys how to set up an emulator for your PC, please use at your own risk. If something happens to your computer, not RGT's fault. If Nintendo knocks on your door because you are a naughty boy or a girl and tries to send you to jail, not RGT's fault. So keep that in mind as we go along. Now, there are two different emulators that you can get for the Nintendo Switch. There's one called Yuzu and one called Ryu Jinx. Personally, I use Ryu Jinx because I feel like it runs better for me personally than Yuzu does. I have some issues setting up Yuzu from time to time, whereas Ryu Jinx never gives me any problems. So you go to RyuJinx.com. Here's the title of the name. And then you go to get started. And then we're going to want to download depending on what sort of operating system we have. So if we have a Windows operating system will do windows linux we do linux mac os we do mac os but windows is better than mac let's be realistic here so we're going to simply hit download here and this will download the latest version of ryujinx now we're going to extract this file and then we'll see what files we have so after you're done downloading you'll end up with the ryujinx folder after you extract it We'll go into publish here and then we have a bunch of different things happening and you're like what what is all this stuff what do i do you're simply going to click the ryu jinx application double click it in order to get ryu jinx up and running this will end up popping up on your screen and then hey we'll have ryu jinx up here now there was another version already available for update i'm not going to go ahead and update that now if you want to do it you can now before we get too deep into the emulation side of things i do want to warn you guys about something this isn't like NES emulation. This isn't like Super Nintendo emulation. You have to have a decent rig in order to run a lot of Nintendo Switch games. That's just how it is because this is a more taxing system on your CPU and your GPU. Now, on the GPU that I have in this computer that I'm using right now, it's a 1660 Super. For my other computer that I have, I have a 3060 uh uh, GPU in it. So obviously there are some differences with that. Your mileage is going to vary. If you have a piece of crap computer from 10 years ago, your games probably aren't going to run as far as the big AAA titles are concerned, but you might have some luck on the indie side of things. Just keep that in mind, but I will show you guys how to get a little bit more and a tinker with things in order to get better settings for your computer, so stick around for that. Now one thing that we're going to need for this is a firmware and product keys for this Ryu Jinx emulator in order for it to work. Unfortunately, I cannot show you where to get product keys because there's a lot of legal stuff within that. But if you simply Google Ryu Jinx product keys, I'm pretty sure that you can find what you're looking for in a very timely manner. And it's very easy to set that stuff up. There's lots of websites and information to show you what to do. Now, alongside of that product key, you're gonna wanna get the corresponding firmware. So if the product key is 16.0.1, you're gonna want firmware 16.0.1. You wanna make sure those two things match in order for them to work well. Now. As far as installing the firmware is concerned, you simply go to tools and install firmware and you can install it from an XCL or a zip file or a firmware from a directory. So just depending on what sort of uh, thing that you got, you can actually get it from games. If you download an XCL version of a game, there's XCL and NSP versions of Nintendo Switch games. I don't really know what the difference is. Both of them have worked for me, but for whatever reason, if you end up getting an XCL game file, you could simply get the firmware from that. But I do find it a little bit easier just to download the firmware that corresponds with your product keys. So that way you're saving a little bit of time. Now, after you do all that, we are pretty much ready to go. But before we start playing any sorts of games, we're going to want to go to our settings and check out some things in there. Now, general settings is no big deal. But the input, this is where we're going to want to do something. Because we're going to obviously want to have it so that we can input 
our keys, you know, like play the games and you got to have a controller or something like that. Now for this video, I'll be using a simple USB uh, Xbox controller because pretty much anything works. You can actually use a pro controller on there if you have a pro controller. So that's pretty cool. But for this, we're just going to use a basic Xbox uh, controller. All right. So we're going to click on player one and that's going to bring up our input areas and then we'll hit Xbox controller and it does a pretty good job of automatically like detecting what you have and then setting it up. So our Xbox controller is actually actually already set up we are ready to go we can do whatever we want with this so we'll go ahead and save that and that will be our um, controller for this now there's also system things that you can do you can adjust the different time sort of stuff graphics and logging and multiplayer I'm not really gonna mess with multiplayer but graphics is going to be very important because there's two different graphical options you can use there's Vulcan and there's OpenGL for me personally Vulcan seems to run much better than OpenGL and Vulcan also allows you to have have your preferred GPU because a lot of computers especially with Windows 11 if you have a Windows 11 computer it's kind of a pain to get it to use the preferred GPU um, you actually have to go and do a few additional steps make sure you guys check that out because if this is going to be using your your basic computer build like an Intel sort of thing you're gonna run into some problems so make sure you're using the preferred GPU you want shader caches which basically allow a game to load shaders as it goes along so subsequent playthroughs of the game are better enable texture recompression we're not going to really mess with that enable micro hle i pretty much just keep that on you could see here we could get the resolution if we want to go higher with resolution so that's pretty cool post pot uh post processing effects i usually just keep this at fxaa or even just off because a lot of games look fine upscale i keep it on bilinear anisotropic filtering keep that on auto aspect ratio keep that on 16.9 so we're going to apply that and then hit save now as far as the game that we're going to showcase here this is actually an indie game that that my buddy John Riggs created and my buddy Chris published for the Nintendo Switch. It's called Yeah Yeah Beebus 2. Make sure you guys check out the game on the eShop. I think RGT actually makes a cameo in this game, which is pretty damn cool. So we're going to go to file and load application from file. And we could see here we have our Yeah Yeah Beebus 2 file here and we'll double click it and things will start to happen. Now, there are a few things I wanna show you guys on the bottom of the screen here because it's kind of pertinent to the emulation side of things. V-Sync is going to automatically be on and you want V-Sync on because if V-Sync is off, then you're gonna get frame rates all over the place. V-Sync essentially just keeps the frame rate nice and stable because you can get higher frame rates sometimes, but a lot of games don't know how to react to that. This is docked or handheld mode. By clicking this, we can switch between docked and handheld mode. Basically what this does is if a game isn't running all that great, and you want better performance out of it you could click on the handheld thing and have the game run in handheld mode now you're not going to have as good as graphics as you would within docked mode but it might allow you to play the game at a better frame rate so that is very important really the setup for these things is very important such as using the right back end we're going to go with Vulkan making sure that if your computer has a dedicated graphics card on it we're using that graphics card and making sure that we're using docked mode and handheld mode appropriately if we're having some trouble here this is a smaller game though so i'm sure we're not going to have any problems with that we can see that the game is running at 60 frames per second that we're using the vulcan back end and the nvidia gpu so basically what we're going to do here is check out the game we're going to go to options enter full screen mode and you can see here we are playing a nintendo switch game a rigged nintendo switch game that was programmed by mega cat studios who i also know that was published by nami tento God, I, I forget. I forget your company's name, Chris. But I'm in this game, so I feel like I can show you this game. But yeah, this is Nintendo Switch emulation on your computer. It took not very long to get all of this set up. Like, oh, let me move me so you could see here how the game is running. But it took not very long to get all of this set up. And yeah, this isn't the most graphically intensive Nintendo Switch game. If anything, it's it's you know it's a retro style game. But we're playing Nintendo Switch stuff on a pc and really no fuss or frills getting all this set up it was pretty easy it probably took us around 10 minutes to do this and here we go so this is emulation for the nintendo switch on the pc it's not very hard especially if you have rgt guiding you and showing you how to do it 
So if you have any questions, be sure to give them in the comments section down below. Um, I'm sure the community will come together and try and answer them. But like I said, it's pretty basic stuff. If you just follow the steps that I did and pretty much go with everything I told you to go with, you'll be playing Nintendo Switch stuff on your PC in no time. But remember, your mileage is going to vary depending on what kind of computer you have. And if Nintendo comes knocking or your PC gets a virus or something because you did something weird, don't blame RGT. This is simply for educational purposes only. Let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you learned something new. Because obviously, emulation is a very important thing. Without emulation and preservation, the 3DS eShop, the WiiWare stuff, you wouldn't be able to play the Castlevania game on the WiiWare. And that's one of the best Castlevania games ever. Like, emulation is important. Preservation is important. And I'm not talking about the Video Game History Foundation talking about real preservation that everyone can enjoy and play i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give me your feedback in the comments section down below happy gaming as some people say and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later